Well, now, Dorothy, you really can't blame Sophia for your sex life. That's not what I'm talking about. But since you brought it up, yes, I can. If I'd had the money, I could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with... I better not say anything till I've had my coffee. A slut and a moron. <laughs> Listen, you punk. <laughs> you want to fight with someone, you're going to have to fight with me. But I warn you, I did time in Attica. <laughs> Attica's a men's prison. I know. I was there a year before they found out. <laughs> Sorry, Chief. I didn't mean to ruffle your feathers. Oh, Dorothy, that was magnificent. How did you ever pull that off? I work in the public school system. It's not that different from me. Well, it says here on my ha-ha birthday list that Bobby is seven, Jeannie is nine, and Dorothy is... I'll punch your heart out, ha-ha. Dorothy is the oldest! Jean is a nice person. She happens to like girls instead of guys. Some people like cats instead of dogs. Frankly, I'd rather live with a lesbian than a cat. I'll be Frank, I'll be you, okay? Well, Frank, you know, I've been thinking, this is the third Saturday of our relationship, and I don't even know what you like to eat. Why don't you come over for dinner this Saturday night and let me find out what whets your appetite? <laughs> And what are you serving for dessert, Blanche? Penicillin? Oh, Blanche is telling a story. Oh, sorry. Go on. I was 19. Fine. <laughs> oh, why? I thought she was finished. She just said she was 19. Well, look at her now. You don't call that a tragedy? <laughs> no, not yet. I, I kind of got sidetracked. Look. <laughs> This is what you've been doing for the past 45 minutes. Uh, isn't he cute? I call him Scotty. <laughs> now you can call him garbage. What if that's Jason? Listen, I'm warning you, if anybody blows the whistle on me, the old lady's out on the street. <laughs> Dirk's nearly five years younger than I am. <laughs> then what, Blanche? Dog years? Rose, honey, there's something I have to say to you. It's just two little words, but they are the hottest two little words in all the whole world for me to say. Not tonight. <laughs> you. What are you so happy about? If I know my Dorothy, there's only one thing that makes her this happy. You're going back to Shady Pines? <laughs> Hello, Blash. How are you? You don't have cataracts, you tell me. <laughs> Beat it, you 50-year-old mattress. <laughs> well, why not? It's all over between us. He'll know that tonight. It's impossible. I'd, I'd feel like a... I feel like a... Uh, a backstabbing slut? <laughs> no. <laughs> then please go for me. I'll feel better knowing this thing is finally over with. <sighs> Since you put it that way. But only as a personal favor to you, honey. Well, I guess I better go get dressed. Thank you, Blanche. Can you believe that backstabbing slut? What Ma is trying to say is that she loves me for what I am. That's right. An over-the-hill school teacher who has to wait for the phone to ring to know if she's going to work that day. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter what your parents want. Rose, you're never going to make them happy. 
They're just gonna nag you and nag you until you wanna grab their throats and choke them, but you don't because you're in a hospital with resuscitating equipment. <laughs> Believe me, if I were coming down with something, I'd know it. And I wouldn't risk getting the rest of you sick. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, honey. I never get sick. I take very good care of myself. I treat my body like a temple. Yeah, it opens everyone, day or night. Sir, you go. Hey, excuse me. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, like what? Aren't you going to say, have a nice day? No. <laughs> Look, in the 45 minutes that I served you, you complained about the food, the coffee, the service, and said that in my case, a sprinkle a day wasn't quite doing the trick. I don't care if you have a pulse, much less a nice day. In many ways, I, I feel just the way I felt when I was a virgin. You mean the feeling isn't going to last long? Are you implying I lost my virginity at an early age? I'm just saying you're lucky Jack and Jill magazine didn't have a gossip column. Mm -hmm. Please, pussycat, I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sophia, but I'm not going to let your skepticism ruin my entire evening. Mel and I were meant to be together. I wish I could say the same for your thighs. <laughs> tonight I'm not gonna stand for this take it Dorothy but I bet you'll lay down for it well that was just plain rude some people just don't know when to quit if that were true, Rose, that would mean you were a slut. Oh, come on, Blanche, how can you say that? So the woman had 56 boyfriends in one year. She's not a slut. Thank you, Doris. She is the slut. <laughs> She's the grand poobah of slutting. She is the easiest woman in this room. <laughs> Dorothy Spornak, you take that back. The slut is dead. Long live the slut. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take a long, hot, steamy bath with just enough water to barely cover my perky bosoms. <laughs> You're only going to sit in an inch of water? <laughs> for prostitution. I can't believe him, Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, we're innocent. I know that. I can't believe these dumb cops would think anyone would pay money to sleep with you. Okay, girls, which goes better, the silver chain or the pearls? The chain. An amateur's mistake. Can't you see that the chain accentuates the many folds of that turkey-like neck? <laughs> Maybe, but the pearls draw attention to the non-existent bosom. <laughs> yes, but the chain leads the eye even lower to that huge spare tire. <laughs> jutting out over those square, manly hips. Why don't I just wear a sign that says, too ugly to live? <laughs> Fine, but what are you going to hang it from, the chain or the pearl? is part of my heritage. What do you mean? Her mother was a slut, too. 